You may try to control your weight, control what you eat, and build daily routines to maintain a healthy lifestyle and a healthy look. But one thing you can't control or change is the passing of time, your age. Shin Ichiro Amai with Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis believes in finding a way for people to age better. He calls it productive aging being healthier, having more energy, being more active. He's motivated by the idea of having a metabolism of 10 to 20 years younger. Studying basic mechanics of aging and longevity, the professor of developmental biology had some breakthrough discoveries in his lab. Among the latest, identifying a previously unknown route for cellular fuel delivery. Even existence of such a transporter so it's an extremely uh, high risk and a big challenge, I would say. It's a finding that could shed light on the process of aging and chronic diseases that accompany aging. With age, cells gradually lose their ability to take in and process fuel. By boosting the energy supply of aging cells, they hope to slow aging. It's all related to his research on a chemical compound found naturally in our bodies and some produce we eat. The molecule is called NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. His work has shown how NMN boosts NAD, a key element of any cell's fuel supply chain. NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And this compound NAD is required to maintain our energy and metabolism. NMN can boost NAD production, enhancing sirtuin activity. Sirtuins are key regulators for aging and longevity. Sirtuins are a family of proteins that use NAD for their enzymatic activities, which he says slows down aging in mice. By giving the mice a premium oral NMN supplement, or nutraceutical as a mice calls it, inactive older mice became active again. They noticed how NMN gets into the bloodstream very quickly when putting it in their drinking water. It happens within like a five or 10 minutes. And then in the blood, NMN levels and peaks out in around 10 to 15 minutes and then goes down to the basic level. So it's relatively very quick. With NMN getting into the cells of tissues throughout the body that quickly, they wanted to know more about NMN's delivery route. They long suspected a transporter providing a direct route, and they hoped it could be activated to further improve the performance of NMN in cells. After new research led by staff scientist Alicia Grozio, they soon realized they were right. Alicia made it. And we succeeded in identifying this molecule, NMN transporter, and characterize it. The protein, called SLC12A8, is the mystery transporter. We discovered that this uh, uh, gene, SLC12A8, is expressed everywhere in mouse, at least in every tissue. They further showed that the cells dial up the expression of the SLC12A8 gene when NAD levels fall. We did a bunch of different experiments uh, to prove that uh, we have tracked the uptake of NMN into the cells. To a degree, aging cells can compensate for a depleted fuel supply. So cells don't passively accept loss of NAD. They work to maintain their fuel supply by increasing the amounts of the NMN transporter, increasing their capacity to bring the raw materials required to make NAD into the cell. Our body constantly requires NMN. So if we uh, develop a drug which can enhance the function of this transporter, then we can enhance the uptake of NMN you know, using another you know, specific drugs for the NMN transporter. Amai says it would prove invaluable to the future of the efficacy of NMN, even the NMN our bodies produce naturally. NMN transporter activator, I would say, could be a really interesting drug. When it comes to taking a clinically proven NMN nutraceutical, a lower dose of NMN would be needed if the transporter is activated, minimizing potential for negative effects from a high dose. Amai says drugs activating the transporter could benefit treatments of other diseases, as other scientists have already discovered a connection with SLC-12A8. One example is pancreatic cancer.
They hope this transporter can be activated for drug therapies treating diseases in specific organs and tissues. If we can develop an activator for the transporter, maybe you know, this is good for those people to get better prognosis. Amai is also wanting to see if activating the NMN transporter can slow aging and age-related diseases in people. First things first, Amai is now conducting a human clinical trial to discover the efficacy and safety of a specific NMN nutraceutical 250 milligram tablets daily. For each person, we are doing an extensive analysis, like a physiological assessment. So it's actually a very intensive study. And he hasn't ruled out how research on aging and longevity may also improve the look of aging. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.